Yeah, we're actually no longer asset light. We, we called it asset right, which is we have now split our core into two different business units. We have the hotel operating side, which is called hotel service, so operator franchisor. And then we have the hotel invest side, and we're going to be keeping that entity, growing that entity, but it's going to be European-centric, mid-scale economic segment. So we're no longer selling the asset we own. There's two types of categories when it comes to investment. There is the trophy asset, which is a luxury asset in which you have preservation of capital. Yes, a low yield, but likely capital gain down the road. And you have the economic segment, mid-scale segment, where you have much more cash flow year after year, but less capital gain at the end and less preservation of capital, but quicker payout. It's a fascinating world. You have a billion to international travelers. Half of them happen to come to Europe, 600 million. And that 600 million is likely to grow 5% per annum. And the supply is going to likely grow 2% per annum. So you have a very good mismatch between higher demand than provided supply. It's no longer country driven, it's city driven. So we're now looking at what are those 300 gateway cities in the world with basically the immense traffic, whether it's business or whether it's leisure. I'm basically now reprioritizing the new development to those targeted cities in which we are already. Impact of digital is huge. I've been saying for now a year and a half is we're going through an industry mutation. It's not only a transformation, it's a mutation. The client is more and more demanding. He has more and more access to technology. On smartphone, you can choose between brands, hotel, location, pricing within probably two minutes. You have to be conscious of it, so which means I guess you have to be client top of mind, which means you have to be with the client on any website when he wants to travel. It's a huge opportunity and not a threat provided you tackle it properly. Expertise, technology, ammunition, time. If you have those four things, yes, you're probably going to be a likely winner in that field.